too near us, huh? Sorry. Oh shit, I don't like the boat. Is here good? Why am I talking louder? Do I put a microphone? What's up, everyone? I'm here again with another food review that um, KFC Tori Katsu Burger and Bonito Fries. The burger and fries are priced at $5.50 and $4.50 respectively. So expensively, I don't wanna. No choice, Lee. Just eat Lee. Which <laughs> la? Or in special meals starting from $7.55. This is the new KFC Tori Katsu 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 Tori Katsu. I don't know how to say it. Let's see. Tori Katsu Burger. KFC Tori Katsu Burger. Deeply marinated chicken fillet. Coated with breadcrumbs for the extra crunch. Damn. Combined with shredded Damn. cabbage and special katsu sauce. Made with respect. Eat with respect. Made with respect. Eat with respect. Know what else you do with respect? You f There are three simple rules to enjoy the Torikatsu burger. There are three simple rules to enjoy the Torikatsu burger. Rule 1. Keep other sauces out. Rule 2. Let's crunch be heard. Whoa, damn! Rule 3. Leave no crumb behind. Okay. Rule 4. Get to the food first. Packed between two soft sesame buns is a marinated chicken fillet that's coated with crunchy breadcrumbs and a fresh Japanese white shredded cabbage. All coated with a savory special katsu sauce and mayonnaise. There's also a new bonito fries which is drizzled with the same special sauce Sauce! And mayo combo And sprinkled with bonito flakes I would order it But KFC, there's actually a very KFC Very KFC near my house Excuse me! So yeah, I'll be back with the burger I'm back home. I got the goods. I've got the drugs. But yeah, the first thing is that when I went down, they didn't they didn't have the bonito fries, which kind of sucked because I mean like, how am I gonna do a review if it's not the full set of food? Honestly, this is my second time gonna be trying um, this Tori Q burger. Tori Q burger. Tori Q burger. What the hell? Because yesterday I went to meet my friends and one of my friends, Randolph Shout out to you, my man. He asked me if I actually tried the Tori Katsu burger already Then I told him, yeah, then you know I say, Where's the video? Waiting for the video So here's the video Because, uh, yeah, I didn't know that actually some people want to watch Before I start eating Roll that B-roll Honestly, I didn't... Okay, this is the second time that I tried it, right? Even the first time that I tried it, I didn't get the bonito fries thing because 
it looks bad pretty bad honestly it's just fries with the sauce with the mayo with the bonito flakes like even when i eat takoyaki right i don't really like the bonito flakes and the kfc fries one looks like elephant took a shit <laughs> First off, the fries. Smile. Can see not? how girls do the thing. I don't really remember when they upgraded this, but when they changed to this big type of shoestring fry, right? I actually think it's quite good. The Tori Katsu Burger. As you saw, there's the white cabbage, the sauce. The patty that's basically it because of the cabbage i think the presentation looks good so out of presentation points i'll give it seven out of ten i mean honestly because the cabbage looks good i got this tori katsu meal for six dollars 55 cents it's cheap because apparently passion card has one dollar off then the other time the first time that i bought right i paid nets or so why did they never give me one dollar off huh I got Mountain Dew because Coke is better than Pepsi and KFC doesn't have Coke and Mountain Dew is good It's time to go for it Cheers To be honest huh, the chicken is crunchy but the problem with it is that they use chicken breast why would you use chicken breast because they use chicken breast it's like slightly drier than i expected it to be but the carry here is not the chicken it's the sauce wow no. uh, the cabbage has a really strong taste if you eat by itself the sauce is slightly sweet and sour at the same time. There's some slight kick of spiciness to it where I'm not really sure where it's from. I don't know if it's cause the, the burger I got is bad or what, but the chicken is dry as hell. They should call this patty, the Sahara Desert because it's dry as <laughs> Oh my God. I think I figured out like why it's weird if you like kfc coleslaw right go for it i think because the coleslaw is cabbage also but this is more lesser i'm not saying it's bad overall a burger is good but when i break down the components the ingredients by itself then it's weird let me show you how dry this shit is see like this part this part here it's dry as fuck. I mean the rest is generally okay la. The sauce is... Reminds me of a teriyaki sauce. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say about the sauce. I finally figured out what to say about the sauce. It's, it's, reminds me of teriyaki sauce. The cabbage. Why would you use cabbage? I mean, I think it's like genuine to the culture. They use shredded cabbage. But I mean there are better things. Uh. Why not use seaweed? It provides extra crunch. And that awesome flavor from the seaweed. But overall, I'll rate this burger a 5 out of 10. Guess that's the video though. Ciao! in the sky